In question 10, the problem statement says an express train takes one hour less than a passenger train to travel 132 kilometers between Mysore and Bangalore without taking into consideration the time they stop at intermediate stations. If the average speed of the express train is 11 kilometers per hour more than that of the passenger train, find the average speed of the two trains. So this is the problem statement. Now this is a classic problem on speed, distance and time and the secret to solve any such question is to carefully set up the equation that describes the given situation. And once the equation is set up correctly, solving it is a straightforward task. So let's see how we can set up the correct equation in this case. So clearly the unknowns are the average speeds of the two trains and we know the relationship between them as well. Uh, we are told that the express train in, is 11 kilometers per hour more than the speed of the passenger train. So that's our starting point. That is what we'll use to set up the equation. So it's always helpful in such problems to draw visuals to describe the situations. So here's a visual I've drawn for you, uh, which represents the two situations. The express train goes from Mysore to Bangalore, this distance of 132 kilometers. The passenger train does the same thing but the express train takes one hour less than the passenger train to do this. Now, if we assume that the speed of the express train is the average speed is V kilometers per hour, then we can write the average speed of the passenger train in terms of V as well. The express train is 11 kilometers per hour faster. So the passenger train's speed can be written as V minus 11 kilometers per hour on an average. Now this means that the express train will take a total time of 132 kilometers by the distance by the speed average speed which is v so this much these many hours and the passenger train will take so this is the time of the express train and let's write the time of the passenger train so this will be the same distance 132 by the average speed v minus 11 these many hours so this this is the time the express train takes and this is the time the passenger train takes and we know that the express train takes one hour less than the passenger train so this information can now be used to write a equation in v so we can write 132 by v the time taken by the express train is equal to 132 by v minus 11 the time taken by the passenger train minus 1 because the express train takes one hour less than the passenger train so this is how we can write uh, an equation in v and now all we need to do is to solve this equation and find the value of v so we have 132 by v and on the right side let's take the lcm so we have v minus 11 in the denominator and in the numerator we have 132 minus v plus 11 so 143 minus v and now let's cross multiply cross multiply so we have 132 times v minus 11 so that's 132 v minus 132 times 11 is 1452 and then let's cross multiply v with 143 minus v so we get 143 v minus v square and now let's rearrange the terms so we bring this minus v square to the left side so that becomes v square and then 132 v and we bring this 143 v and subtract it so we get minus 11 v and then we have this minus 1452 minus 1452 this is equal to 0 so this is the quadratic equation in V that we now need to solve. Now to solve this quadratic equation you can use the quadratic formula or you can factorize this equation uh, by splitting the middle term. So that's what I'm going to use. So what I need is two numbers whose sum is equal to minus 11 and whose product is equal to 1 into minus 1452. So if you play around with the factors of minus 1452 you will find that minus 1452 can be written as 33 times minus 44 
and the sum of these two numbers is minus 11. So that's how we can split the middle term. So let's do that. So we will get v square and then minus 11 becomes 33v. Minus 11v becomes 33v minus 44v and then minus 1452. This is equal to 0. So from the first pair of terms v square plus 33v, we can take out v common. So v times v plus 33. And then from the second pair of terms, we can take out minus 44 common. So minus 44 times v plus 33. This is equal to 0. And now we can take out v plus 33 common. So v plus 33 times v minus 44. This is equal to 0. So the two roots of this quadratic equation are v equal to minus 33 from the first factor and then v equal to 44 from the second factor. So clearly the valid root in this case is v equal to 44 because speed cannot be negative. So the speed uh, v which was the speed of the express train so that's 44 kilometers per hour. So the speed of the express train, the average speed of the express train is 44 kilometers per hour. And the passenger train has an average speed that is 11 kilometers per hour lower. So the average speed of the passenger train is 33 kilometers per hour. So the answer is that the speed of the two trains are 44 kilometers per hour and 33 kilometers per hour. And what I would like you to do now is take this as an exercise and verify that the answers are correct. So plug in these values back into the situation given to us and see if it aligns with uh, the data points that are given to us in the problem statement. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.